G'day, this is my Freedom 100 dump terminal and we've just compiled a copy of Terminal Tetris and we're just going to run it up and we're running it straight Liberty Freedom 100 mode and we've started modifying the terminal Tetris code uh, to allow us to actually use the terminal in this mode. Okay, so you can see that the terminal variable is set to Freedom 100 and it actually looks quite okay. And what we're going to do is just run up the terminal Tetris program okay I quite like this keyboard it's nice and clunky not the best keyboard to type on but it still makes me smile and that's what matters okay so this is terminal Tetris and we use the A to move left D to move right space to rotate and S to move down. Okay, so let's just have a quick go of Tetris. Okay, so rotate. Okay, this is not going to be the most successful game of Tetris, but it's actually pretty cool playing Tetris on a serial terminal. Oh, oh, I didn't. Oh, I was too slow. I wanted to knock that across. Okay, rotate it. Okay. We're going to run into a bit of trouble here, but okay, it's not going to be a great game of Tetris. Not the easiest thing to do when I'm playing with it one hand, but okay. Okay, there we go. Yay, and if I hit H, it brings up the correct information for help. And if I hit enter, let's see, it drops. Okay, if I hit backspace, it actually resets the game. Okay, let's do that again. Okay, hit H, it'll remove the help, and hit Q, it quits out, and this is actually a very nice little serial terminal, and I'm actually running it connected to a Raspberry Pi, and we're just using a straight serial connection from the Raspberry Pi going through a simple uh, Max. Uh, I think it's a 2323 or something like that to convert the TTL to serial. Okay, this works very well and I'm actually quite impressed with the terminal. Uh, things like the Nano Editor work. Okay. Arrow keys up and down work in the actual editor. Let me go back up. The control keys work. I don't save that. Things like H top work quite well. And 
and as you'll see, that's uh, working really well. Now, I was having some problems with NeoFetch earlier. I'm not sure if I've got that quite sorted. Let's see. Yeah, I'm still having some issues with uh, some of the escape codes. Um, I'm not sure if it's the colour information. I've tried using a different serial interface and I've tried using the screen command, um, which doesn't seem to help that much. And I have issues with the character set. So if I just get in screen to filter out some of the colour codes, yeah, it sort of works. But now I have this weird character set and I'm not quite sure what's going on. If I do a Neo Fetch, yeah. So certainly better, but it's completely unreadable. And I'm not quite sure why. Yes, I've just reset the terminal and tried the screen command again and this time it almost works, except we now have some underlining, which I don't quite understand. If that's a configuration issue. The terminal, um, I'm gonna investigate a little bit more, but now NeoFetch almost works. Without the underlining, it would be great. And it doesn't underline all the information. So I'm just not quite sure um, what's going on here? Okay, I'm going to try Telnet. And we'll go to the classic Star Wars. Yeah, I haven't been able to get this to quite work correctly. But I'm very pleased with the result of Terminal Tetris. That works really well. Let's see. Okay, it logs in. We don't have the underlining. Let's see. The glare. Okay, so far so good. Okay. At 9600 board it's slow but it does appear to work and I don't have that strange underlining issue that we had earlier okay let's just uh, let this run for a while and see what happens so far so good Yeah, it seems to be working quite nicely. And as you can see, we're using a Raspberry Pi and we're just using a TTL to RS232 adapter and it seems to work quite well. Okay, yeah, it's, uh, it's slow. We might try running this at um, 19, 200 later and see if it uh, works a little bit better but as you can see I'm using a 25 pin to 9 pin and then I'm just going through a uh, gender male connector to go into the uh, TTL serial adapter that's connected to the Pi Okay, thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.